Now face to face with reporter Jackie Beecham, who talks to Professor Idan Segev from the Safra Center for Brain Sciences at the Hebrew University about Brain Awareness Week. Professor Idan Segev, the reason we've got you on the broadcast is in your capacity as Professor of Brain Sciences at the Hebrew University, you'll be very involved with Brain Awareness Week that takes place this next week in Jerusalem. Can you tell me what Brain Awareness Week is going to consist of? Mm -hmm. Yes, well, it's a phenomena, it's a world phenomena all over the world. They decided, the Dana Foundation decided very nicely to organize all over the world a week, whereas uh, scientists, from every country uh, decided to, so to speak, introduce the brain to the general public, both the uh, medicine and neuro neurological issues, robotic issues, fundamental research, ethical issues. So it happens all over the world in the middle of March, and we are part of it. And how many countries? Do you know that? How many countries Many, many tens. Uh, I think most of the countries in Europe, I don't know numbers, but many, many tens. America, of course, uh, and I don't know, maybe elsewhere. We did not follow it in details, but certainly many tens of countries are involved with this nice project. And what kind of participation is Israel going to have? I know that you, there's, a, there's a week of films about the brain at the cinema. Yes, Jerusalem. it's part of it, actually. It's part of it. So, you know, each, each, each place has its own vision or initiative about how to go uh, presenting the brain. Uh, we decided two years, uh, one year ago, actually, to do it through... In, to, to attract the audience through movies. So we are going, six of us are going to talk each evening about half an hour about an aspect. For example, in my case, my wife and myself will talk about art and the brain, the phenomena of art and the brain, and others will talk about, you know, medication and the brain, and consciousness and the brain and all this. But, but this is just one way to do it. In Tel Aviv, we are also doing some of it <clears throat> just talking to the public about our own research. So there are many ways to do it, so each one with his own fantasies about the brain. The main thing is really, and that's the main issue, that the, 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 the brain research is going to impact society very, very strongly in, the, in, this, in, the, in this century of the brain, the 21st century of the brain. And we feel, scientists feel, uh, that, that the audience, the people from, from everywhere should know what we do, because it will affect them. Well, what do you do? I mean, is Israel paving the way in brain research? Uh, yes, yes. As you know, science is very, very uh, prolific and prominent in Israel. And uh, you may know that in Jerusalem right now, uh, we build a whole new brain center, a dramatic one. Uh, we got a fantastic donation from uh, the Safra Foundation of 50 million, and we already got another 30 million to build a huge, huge, huge one of the most dramatic brain center, physical brain center in the world. And uh, I think Israel is considered to be one of the leaders in brain research in various fields, including Parkinson, Alzheimer's, theory of the brain. Our leader in Parkinson is Professor Hagai Bergman, uh, who is really a leader in the field, and he was one of the, the first to use a technique that everybody basically is using now all over the world. It's called deep brain stimulation, whereby you put an electrode to the Parkinsonian patient's brain, and you inject, uh, you pacemake, you inject a small amount of current, and this really uh, helps a lot. I mean, it really reduces the symptoms of Parkinson dramatically, and now it's being used all over the world, but it's really the initiation was Haggai Bergman's uh, physiological studies. And today, what Haggai is doing, actually, is improving this technology. That one aspect of it is really to be able to inject the current to the brain. By the way, very simple operation with a completely alert patient. Uh, you can talk to him while you implant the electrode. But then one issue is exactly when to inject the current. And, and this is still an open issue. What is the exact timing of injecting current to best affect the Parkinsonian uh, symptoms? And what about Alzheimer's? What kind of advances have you made in that? So uh, we have in Israel and in Jerusalem, actually, uh, one of the prominent, I think probably the most prominent Alzheimer researcher, uh, Professor Martha Razin, and she developed uh, a medication that uh, is used all over the world. It's called Exelon, and this is, uh, as I said, one of the three most important medicines for Alzheimer was developed by her. And what does it do? Basically what it does, it, it prevents, so Alzheimer is a, is a, is a degenerative disease whereby the connections between cells, what is called synapses, the connections between cells 
is deteriorating and the network as a whole cannot function, cannot retrieve memory. So what she does in, in, in very simple terms is she, this, this medication, this pharmaceutical medication, a uh, lamp holds the connection for a longer period of time. Doesn't, it doesn't allow them to deteriorate and it holds the network functioning for a year or two more than it would otherwise. But now, Marta, Professor Razin has a new medication that is now on the almost final stages of, you know, testing the beta, the beta stage and so, and so forth. And soon we shall have a new one. And she claims, and, uh, you know, she's fantastic and she, she knows what she says, is that it's going to hold, so to speak, or help the Alzheimer's for a longer period to, uh, you know. So, so these are two really major impacts. And what about you, Professor Seger? We've talked about other experts. Uh, yes, I like to talk about others more than about myself. <laughs> modest. Uh, because that, yeah, but, modest. But, but what think, work are you... Are you so I work, I'm involved with a, with a project that is called... It started by this uh, fantastic name, the Blue Brain Project. It now became the Human Brain Project. We need to build a, fun, a, a, a detailed model, a copy of a brain. We start with a mouse. We shall end with a human brain on the computer. And the purpose is actually to have the computer become sick with Parkinson because some of the parameters are wrong, as in our brain, when we are sick. And so if the computer will become sick in Parkinson or in, in, in schizophrenia or in whatever, in epilepsy, then we will be able to fix the computer, the model. And only then, after understanding what happens to the model, we can really develop the uh, medication that are targeted in a very, very sophisticated and, and, and a new way. The whole field is called, you know, simulation-based medicine. So Professor uh, Sega, that sounds fascinating. When can the public hear you speak uh, during Brain Week? Ah, one thing I know for sure that I'll speak in the, in the Cinematheque in Jerusalem, this is about brain and art. As I said, this will be this coming Saturday, the 10th. Uh, on, on, on at, at 8.30 in Jerusalem and I'll be on Tel Aviv on the 11th Sunday uh, 11th of March in Tel Aviv University big auditorium Professor Idan Segev from the Hebrew University Brain Awareness Week runs from tonight until March the 15th